It's Christmas time. There's no need to be afraid. At Christmas time, we let in light. No, okay. Um, so, today we have the December edition of Gacha Gacha Crate. And I believe either the last one or my penultimate one, as I've unsubscribed from this. I've gone back to Japan Crate, which is the um, parent company with the snacks. But, as always, let's take a quick look. There's the front of the box. There's the side, if you want to visit them on some social media things. That's the cute little Shiba Inu dude. Um, and that is the website, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. As always, this is a monthly um, crate filled with six gachapon, um, which are like, well, those egg things there, uh, from, you know, various things. And this is indeed December 2018's one. Will this be Christmassy? Let's not open this and find out ourselves by opening things. Um, and yeah, I can actually show you guys the inside of these because you can't tell what they are anyway. Um, so, without further ado, let's crack into some of these. So, I'm assuming, um, I've already mentioned this, I'm assuming that they are indeed Christmas themed. I've just realised I don't have much space on my camera, hang on. That's better, I've got a lot more um, room now. So yeah, I've peeled off the cell tape on this thing. I will grab the little piece of paper. Oh, there's some kanji. What could that be? Ooh, pickaxes? What? No. Um, what? <laughs> oh, are these katanas? So they look like katana holders, I guess. What the, f the hell is that white? Okay, I suppose that's a wrap. Okay, so they're katanas with, like, charms and stuff on them. Yeah, it looks very traditionally Japanese. Uh, that's some text on the back. So, ooh, we have a bronze one, maybe? Um, yeah. Okay, then. So, that is the one we got. And by we, I mean I. Hmm, very nice symbol. I like the, um... You know, never-ending kind of thing of it. Ooh, what does the kanji say? Can you read that? Because I sure as shit cannot. Um, I can read kana, but not that. Obviously, this doesn't come off. But yeah, this is quite a nice one. It's got a nice little black thing tied around it. It's kind of bronzy. It looks like a katana. Ready? Let's take a look at what the hell this is. So this is indeed a samurai sword keychain. It's a collection of gachas featuring themed traditional Japanese swords. Um, now, unfortunately, obviously, I can't read ka uh, kanji at all. So, I mean, while, while that's cool, it does slightly bother me a little bit that they didn't, like, translate what the, um, what the varieties are, because I'd really like to know more. And, I mean, I could probably find out what that says and yeah apparently this is to like demonstrate the artistry of the hilt because as we can see here the hilt uh, is the same pattern as this that little metal thing there so yeah it's really cool um, as I said it it probably has a lot more meaning to people that can read what it says um, but yeah that is really cool that is something I definitely appreciate you know it's just niche and weird enough um, right, I'm going to get rid of this cell tape and be right back. Okay, I am back. We have a, ooh, kind of translucently glow-in-the-dark looking thing at the bottom there. Oh, that, that's a, uh, is that E-Honda? Or is that just a sumo? Ooh. Ooh, again, very traditional Japanese things today. So we got a uh, sumo wrestler, we got like the judge, I think. And other sumo wrestlers. Very nice. Okay, and this is by Kitan Club. I thought it was a kitten club uh, originally. Very interesting. Right, so who or what do we have? We have a sumo wrestler. Uh, ooh, he comes in different parts. Right, I'll, I'll just assemble this guy, I think. Okay, I am back. And uh, yeah, so this is the... Sumo thing we got. Um, I can't put it flat quite yet, but I will with the uh, wrap up. So yeah, so when I unpacked it, I didn't uh, notice this stand. I was like, ah, it's a stretching sumo. But then I was like, how do you display this? But yeah, I found this clips on there. 
very nice actually uh i'm a lot more pleased with it than i thought i would be because he's he's doing the sort of get up you know prepared pose kind of thing so yeah a very nice figure actually detailing isn't like amazing you could do with a little bit more and sort of like there is a little bit of plasticky stuff kind of makes it feel a little bit cheap but equally it's got all that detail you need all of it okay so these are sumo wrestlers um and yeah they come in different poses there's like ringside poses and stuff i got honestly i think i got one of the best ones because taking a look here i mean that would have been really cool i'd like the judge maybe um but yeah i think honestly overall <laughs> That was, it's definitely the most um, interesting one. And you know, really start a bit of a conversation right then. Third up is the pink one. Uh, as always, I shall get rid of the cell tape and I'll be right back. All right, I am back. Let's crack this open. Grab the paper and let's see. Ooh, is that a dog? Dog or a fox? Some kind of, ah, they're yawning. No, oh, wait, okay, not all of them are. There's two dogs, two dogs sniffing, and two dogs yawning. Okay, well, um, interesting one. Aku, Akubi. That's what that says. Um, right, okay. Well, what did we get? We got a white boy sitting. Yes, or girl, I suppose. Um, no, dog, dogs are often known as good boys. But I'm sure there are also good girls out there as well uh, and indeed that is an adorable uh i don't know the breed of the dog i shall be honest um yeah there he is looking up and stuff and his fluffy little white tail and his paws they do indeed are ah, and even ones on the side and stuff that is adorable um let's see what the hell these are so these are indeed Shiba Inu. Now I was going to call them Shiba Inu, but I was like, nah, I'm wrong. They're they're smaller, um, but they're not apparently. So yeah, a uh, lot of lots of dog memes. Much cute. Such wow. Thank you, thank you, Gacha Gacha Crit. Very up to date on the memes there. Definitely not a few years old now. Uh, right, let's go the back left to this all green one. Ooh, okay, and I think it's one I can actually open on camera. Uh, actually, no, scratch that, I'll be back. All right, I'm back, I've opened it up. Ooh, I don't know what that is, that looks like a Pokeball. It is not a, oh yeah, no, it is a Pokeball, it's a cup of some kind with, oh, it's got the Eeveelutions in. Nice, it's got Jolteon, Flareon, Vaporeon, and good old Eevee. Um, and maybe a Pikachu? I don't know, maybe there's four of them, maybe there's five, who knows. That's on the back. And what do we have in our cup? We have an Eevee. Wow, okay. So this is second uh, second month in a row now where I've got a sleeping Eevee um, thing. So, ah, oh, oh, this is fantastic. So let's take a look at that little cup for a second. Hmm. Okay, interesting choice not making that you know with a hole through there but i can understand why it's very nice nicely detailed uh, little cup there all right let's just grab our happy little fox person uh well evie's not a fox but oh, that fits perfectly well there we are something to add to my sleeping evie collection which sounds a lot creepier than i thought um yeah, well, ah, that's really adorable. And like, obviously, you can position it and stuff. Yeah, well, there we go. That's really cute. Put that to the side, and uh, I will quickly check what that is. This is a surprise gachapon. So there's nothing to learn apparently. Um, yeah, so it's like it's completely random apparently, which is very fitting for a gachapon thing. But yeah. Genuinely, um, I think I probably got one of the best surprise ones. That is, that is fantastic. Right, let's get on to the next one. This, ooh, I really like this green colour. 
It's uh, I, I keep some of these things. Uh, others go for recycling because, well, quite frankly, by the end of like half a year, I'd have a lot of plastic eggs and not much to put in them because I tend to keep them in one of these boxes. Um, but you know, and hey, look at that. I managed to get all the tape off whilst talking to y'all. So, right, let's see. What is this? Oh, it's... Are these tradition... Oh, yo, the um, wave of the Kanagawa wave or whatever. Ah, I recognise that as well. And that one. Wow, so these are like traditional Japanese paintings. That's crazy. That, that's really cool. Wow, I really hope I get the wave. I mean, I know it's sort of the, the most popular one, but... Let's see, what one did we get? Ooh, I've got it faced away. So we won't know until I pull it out. Is it the right way? Who knows? Oh, well, if you can read kanji, you already know what it is. Uh, yo! It's the wave! Nice! Um, what? Hang on, let me have a look. Alright, I'm an idiot, so yeah, you can, obviously you read kanji like that. I, w I was thinking it went like that and couldn't work out. But yeah, so that's the, oh, that's so cool. I mean, I'd have been happy with any of them, honestly, but like, you know, obviously this is one of the most famous Japanese paintings, um, I think, and one I really, really like, actually. Um, I've got a t-shirt, actually, with this on, with like a Blastoise behind it. Um, I'm sure some art critics would shiver at the thought of such uh, callous corporatism, but, you know, uh, I don't care. And so, move on to a final. Now, I can kind of, I think you got a peek of what was in there. But I couldn't actually make... Oh, actually, wait, hang on. Two seconds. So this is the Hokusai Gachapon. So I think Hokusai is the artist. And it actually says, This collection includes his great work, The Great Wave of Kanagawa. Um, so apparently they're also fridge magnets, which is really cool. So obviously, I guess not everyone got The Great Wave of Kanagawa, but I proper lucked out with that one then, because um, that's clearly the kind of like most popular piece. Yeah, that's really nice. Um, and also, I imagine, might scale fairly decently to Nendroids. Because um, they're kind of small. Like, they'd probably still be small compared to an Android, but, you know, it's kind of in the right scale. Anyway, our final one. What will this paper advertise? Ooh, what? Bears? Bears, bunnies. They look like crackers, like animal crackers, basically. An elephant, a gorilla, koala, lion, bunny, and a bear. What are these? Who knows? Uh, 300 yen, which is about, like, three quid or something. Ooh, and we got the bunny. Oh, nice. I really like rabbits. Um, I had two rabbits for a few years. Then they died, but, um, but you know, still missed salt and pepper if you're watching this in the... Ooh, ooh, it's soft as well. Okay, uh, <laughs> yes, I'm still not completely sure. Is this meant to look like a cookie? Kind of like a, you know, biscuity thing? Well, right, let's find out. So yeah, these are animal cr cake squishies. Uh, apparently they kind of look like, um... Cakes you'd find around the streets of Kyoto, but shaped in animal form. I'm sure there are cakes around Kyoto also shaped like animals, though. Um, yeah, okay, very very abstract kind of uh, thing, but yeah, very pleased with that. Right, as always, I'm going to take a look at the rest of this leaflet, look at anything other, other interesting stuff, and then I'll arrange them all to um, give a wrap-up. Alright, so the um, theme for this month is uh, Japanese toy festivals. So, um, they're just highlighting stuff like um, Wonderfest and other things where uh, companies show up, show off upcoming uh, figures and stuff. Now, if you follow figure news, you've probably seen that there's a fair few like um, Tamashii Nation and other announcements for figures coming up uh, next year, especially like Dragon Ball and stuff like that. And then, on the other side, it just 
tells you a bit more in detail about Winter One, uh, Winter One Fest, and then there's Design Festa, which I've not really heard of, but I know the um, One One Fest is kind of like a twice yearly thing where uh, you know all the interested people in the industry talk about new upcoming releases. Anyway, I'm gonna go and arrange everything in a nice uh, picturesque manner, and I shall be right back. All right then, I am back and have arranged ev <laughs> Okay, didn't even didn't even touch anything there. Now, fortunately, this wrestler guy, he's not the easiest to stand. I'm sure if I put blue tack or something under him, he'd be great. But yeah, really great piece with the sumo wrestler there. I'm scared to actually touch anything now. Shiba Inu is very cute. I've actually got two other dogs. Um, one of them from Gacha Gacha Create. One of them from years ago where I got a random gacha of like a grey dog with a little bowl of food so he'll be a very nice friend there the, oh okay <laughs> this thing is very interesting probably won't put it in a bag or anything because I imagine the chain would snap quite easy Eevee in a cup is absolutely adorable um, probably the highlight of the crate actually and ironically that's not the one that was chosen Samurai Sword is very very cool I'll probably dangle that somewhere in my room or wherever and for some reason that's been picked up as a face obviously it's not and that is really, really cool, the um, Great Wave of Kanagawa. So, this month has felt a bit like traditional Japanesey. Well, in this corner, actually, traditional Japanesey. In this corner is the kind of like weird gacha things. But honestly, I think overall, this might be one of the best crates because um, everything just feels like really, you know, high quality and stuff and is unique enough. Um, and yeah, also <laughs> follows on the like four or five months in a row now I've had a Pokemon gacha so I'm incredibly happy anyway as I mentioned at the start this might be my last one or my penultimate one I can't remember when it like runs out um, but if this is my, my last one I can say that if you are interested in small figures and gachapon things this is definitely worth getting at least for like a month to see if you like the stuff um, personally speaking like I think I've got loads of gacha things now and I don't think I could collect this for years because they just take up loads of room. I mean, they're small, but, you know, volume. Um, but yeah, overall, it's been a really good service. Um, so I'll be doing the Japan crate from next month on and I might look into doing another crate, but I'll keep you guys updated or I'll just put the videos out when they arrive because that's probably most likely. Anyway, I shall leave a subscribe thing there and some playlists or whatever. And until next time, keep it frosty.